Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. And today I'm reviewing Exit the Advent Calendar, The Hunt for the Golden Book. Now, I don't recall ever officially reviewing an exit game or an unlock game or any of these, and they are inherently hard to uh, to review, to cover. You see, the problem is, right about now, I should be showing you, I should be starting to open this up and showing you what's on the inside. The problem is, if I do so, I'll inherently spoil some things for you, because the things I've done are very much visible underneath this cover. You see, in this game, this is an exit game, we'll talk about this. In this game, you're going to be getting, you know, your storybook, you're going to be getting your help book, and you're going to be getting a decoder. Everything else is going to be hidden in little boxes inside this game. Game. You see, at its core, it is an exit game. If you've played those before, that means this is a, an escape room in a box. This is a game which you are trying to figure out what the puzzle is. You'll be destroying components along the way. You'll be modifying things. This is a single play experience, a single play experience with 24 puzzles. This is an advent calendar. In theory, it's designed to be played day after day, one at a time. Although, of course, you could bundle it up. You could play all of them at once. You could play them in batches of a few at a time as I've been going through them. You can experience it however, experience or interact with it however you want. In fact, I'm not even even finished it yet, I want to get my coverage of this game up so that you can, well, get it sooner rather than later in case you do want to get it and go through it before Christmas and all that. This is the hunt for the golden book. The core story, no real spoilers here, the core story is Santa has lost his golden book and it's up to you to try to help him find it so that everyone can get rewarded and, I guess, maybe just rewarded as opposed to punished. You'll be going through a degree of all, again, I'm not going to really show you this because of the nature of spoiling things, you'll be going through a degree of story, going through these pages one at a time, ripping out many of these pages that will have a singular interaction between the page and the puzzle. You're trying to solve those 24 different puzzles, and those puzzles will potentially at times reference things that have happened already. Every single thing in this game is part of the puzzle. Every single thing. This is if you're not used to the, you know, the exit experiences, the unlock experiences, the escape room in a box experiences, anything on the table is a possibility, or anything I should say from the box that may or may not end it up on the table in different ways is something that can in some way be interacted with and may have reference to different puzzles along the way. These are 24 puzzles. You should not be throwing things out at all as you go through it. Things will have references down the road as you go through it. It is basically an extra game in a box with, well, you know, 24 puzzles. You're going to be, every single room is basically using this decoder system over here. This decoder system, again, I wish I could show you more things here, I can't by the very nature of it, but this decoder system is going to have the players punching in a code in a specific order, so perhaps you think 5, 6, 2 is the correct code. That's going to be flipped over and it's going to give you two things. It's going to give you a direction and it's going to give you symbols. So what you're going to do is you're going to look from the current door, and the way that's spread out is, and this is not really spoilers, there's going to be little doors inside the boxes you're going to look at the current door that you're currently trying to solve that puzzle. You're going to move one to the right, assuming this is the code, one up and then one back down, which if you follow that, that effectively is going to net to one to the right. That's going to end up as being. And you're going to look if that door to the right has these three symbols in that order. Effectively, this decoder gives you an opportunity to trace your way to a door, see if the symbols match, and if it is, that's now the next door to open. This is now the next puzzle, at which point you can put the game down, you can come back tomorrow, or you can keep charging forward again, depending on how you're interacting with the experience. And that's, that's basically it. This is an escape room in a box. This is an exit game in a box. 24 smaller, a little more, more condensed, not condensed, more uh, compartmentalized puzzles, as it were, with some degree of occasional reference or different things going on between the puzzles. But that is Exit the Advent Calendar, the hunt for the golden book. And I guess time for the review part of this, which is going to be fairly ambient. For the most part, ambient's probably the wrong word going to be fairly different than my usual structure here. This ultimately, at its core, is an exit game. If you like exit games, I think you'll like this. This is possibly, this is possibly my favorite of the exit experiences I've had. Although keep in mind, I generally have been more of an unlock person. I've gone through a lot of the unlock series of games. I think I've played maybe three exit games. This would be the fourth. This is my favorite from those so far. The nature of the way the puzzles are broken up feels very procedural in a way that all the exit games can have that to a degree. But this one, more so than others, has been... I want to just say more rewarding. The puzzles have varied in their complexity. They've given us a degree of challenge at different points, ways to interact with it, ways to try to figure out using your knowledge from other exit games and how those interweave. This is ultimately an exit game. If you don't like exit games, I don't think this is going to change your mind unless you're really that brought in by the narrative experience and the things that you'll unlock along the way. It is a little bit more thematic than some in that sense, and the presentation, the giant box, the 24 little puzzles to go through, the, the fact that you're going to be opening, and not really spoilers here, but the fact that you're going to be opening little doors, peering into rooms, trying to take knowledge from these little rooms, there is a bit more character in what this game is bringing to the table, so it's, I think, a drop better than your average extra game, but if you don't like extra games, I don't think this is changing your mind. 
on the flip side, if you like Hexa games, this is a well done one. For the most part, again, I haven't finished it yet, but so far I have not yet been frustrated with it. I find this genre of escape room in a box games often do run into moments where the puzzle is frustrating enough that something about it is a little bit more frustrating. And that could, I guess there was one, there was one puzzle so far that I would say I got the clue, I got the result, and I wasn't confident or clear. Something about it felt wrong. And the nice part about these games is they have these little help book and game instructions, and for each of the puzzles, you have a sequence of different hints you can go through. And for that particular puzzle, before opening the next door, I went through the hints, validated I was right, and used that to be sure to be sure that the correct door was the one I was about to open. I was the correct door. It's just that one puzzle felt a drop off. But yeah, I find for the most part, extra games or unlock games or escape room in a box games can have that moment of frustration as you're trying to solve something and you're just not figuring a way out there like I just kind of referenced this game does have the ability to go through hints and things that will give you that bit of uh, opening towards what you're trying to do I do find hints in exit games and that includes this one can border from the most vague hint ever to slightly less vague but still totally vague to here's the answer I find the sequence of of hints kind of are not always as iterative as I would like. That might just be a hard thing to balance in general, going from not knowing to knowing might just be a line you cross. So I'm not really criticizing, I'm just commenting. But overall, I think that this has been one of the less frustrating unlock experiences, exit experiences I have had so far. Uh, it's been mostly procedural, giving us enough challenge to feel like there's things that to feel like rewarded for the stuff we're doing, while not yet so much, at least not yet, in terms of being frustrating. So that's basically it. That's the exit, the admin calendar, the hunt for the golden box, 24 puzzles in a singular experience. I recommend this. If you like exit games, I think this will give you a good little journey to go through, slightly longer than your average exit, average exit game, and that's like four times the size, but with a whole lot of character in the box. If you like this game, you're looking for other game recommendations, first of all, the Unlock series. Always in general, highly recommend the Unlock series as the one of the go-to uh, brands, so to speak, for, for Exit Mysteries. And if you're looking for something for a little bit more mystery-based, uh, Suspects from Hachette Games is one that I've enjoyed that leans a bit more into the mystery genre and a little less into the escape room in a box genre. In any case, then until next time, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, I hope you have a good one.